Remember Minecraft for the Nintendo Wii? No, not the Wii U version, I'm talking about the original Wii. Well, if you can't recall it, that's because it doesn't exist. At least not officially. So in this video, we're going to dive into Cave Explorer, also known as CaveX, a fascinating Minecraft Beta 1.7.3 recreation for the Wii. Anyways, I'm Anton, and let's get started. So let's start by getting the game installed. I just installed it through the OpenShop channel, which is the easiest way to install it. Then once it was finished downloading, I went ahead and launched the game. Immediately, you are brought to the world selection screen. So let's open one up. The controls are pretty basic. There aren't any customization options or sensitivity adjustments. But breaking blocks and moving around feels just like you'd expect. At first glance, it might seem like an old PC version of Minecraft. But the closer you look, the more you'll notice some missing features and oddities. The first thing I did like any Minecraft player was build a crafting table and some tools. I also crafted a chest, but currently they're unusable. But on the plus side, item durability isn't implemented yet, so your tools last forever. Exploring caves, I crafted more tools and torches. The lighting system is unusual, with light level 0 being pitch black. Without torches, you won't see a thing. Smelting is also simplified. You just place items in and they convert instantly, like crafting which can be a bit convenient. Building iron armor was my next step, but with no mobs and no fall damage, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Physics are also lacking. Sand doesn't fall and water and lava don't flow, and many features that you'd expect aren't here yet. But it's still a work in progress. I eventually found some diamonds and made some tools and armor, but they didn't make much of a noticeable difference. And finally, I built a base. Playing Cavex feels like playing an early stripped down version of Minecraft, almost like Minecraft Lite. And for those who don't know, it was a demo of Minecraft Pocket Edition that was pretty limited. So this feels very similar, and the nostalgic textures really add to that vibe. This project is incredibly impressive, and I'm excited to see where it goes. Planned features include a main menu, new chunk generation, biome colors, simpler texture pack support, and even beta 1.7.3 multiplayer. I'll definitely plan to revisit it in the future if it has a brand new update to see how much has evolved. If you're interested in trying it out for yourself, you can find Cavex on the OpenShop channel, including the website. You can find the link in the description. Then click download file. And all you need to do is uncompress the folder and place the Cavex folder into your Wii Apps folder. I hope you did enjoy this look at Cavex. If you did, don't forget to subscribe as it really helps out. And a huge shout out to Extreme 8000's work on this amazing Minecraft recreation. Let me know what you think about Kvex in the comments below. And with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.